Hello everyone, for today's project I'm going to show you how to make a frame saw blade from a piece of 1095 spring steel shim. <laughs> Welcome everyone, I think you're going to find this project very useful and very easy to do. So I've set up my rotary tool and used the collar of the rotary tool as the fence for the cutting wheel. I put my left index finger around the collar to ensure that the fence doesn't slip. And it took about three cutting wheels to cut this 24 inch section. I then filed the burr off and then aligned the plate with a 10 tooth per inch old bandsaw blade. I had removed the kerf from the bandsaw blade. And then it was a simple matter of transferring the outline of the bandsaw blade onto the newly cut plate. I turned to my rotary tool again with the cutting wheel to notch out the deepest part of each one of the tooth. For those who are keeping track at home, this would be uh, cutting wheel number four. It doesn't take long to cut through all the teeth. I'm not trying to cut the angle of the tooth, I'm simply trying to mark out the position of each one of the tooth by cutting at the valley. I've built my saw vise from scrap wood, so if you're interested in building one of your own, go ahead and follow the link in the description. Because the plates are so thin, it's really not difficult to cut more than one at a time. In this case, I cut two at the same time. For the first about, uh, about two inches of the saw, I like to sharpen the tooth like this. Very symmetrical. And this helped me get the saw cut started. For the rest of the saw, I will sharpen the tooth more like this to give me a very aggressive cut. I'm using a small file that you can find at any hardware store to cut all the teeth. It was actually fairly easy because the plate is very thin. I also find that 10 teeth per inch is sufficient for almost every kind of woodwork. But if you wanted more tooth, you have to get a special file. Once the kerf on the saw plate is set, it's time to do a few test cuts. The cut on the left you see is the saw blade without any kerf on there at all. The cut with the kerf set is slightly wider than the one without the kerf. And the cross cut really went well, so now I'm testing out the rip cut capacity of this saw blade. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for stopping by. I personally found this project to be uh, very useful, and I hope you find it to be useful for you as well, because actually buying good uh, frame saw blade is very hard, and sometimes it can be very expensive as well. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.